Well, it is the biggest new thing to happen to downtown in quite some time, and today is your first chance to take a spin on the new St. Louis wheel. We want to get out to our Abby Larico because before it opens to the public today, well, Abby's out there with a little sneak peek for us. Hey, Abs, good morning. Hey, Allie, good morning. So I know you are afraid of heights, but this just might be the type of thing that inspires you to conquer that fear because check this out. This is one of the gondolas. There are more than 40 of them. Oh, it's got a little bit of music playing for us this morning. Um, one of the gondolas that can take you up about 200 feet in the air in the St. Louis wheel. It is officially opening to the public today. We can't get it quite going yet, but we wanted to make sure I showed you what it would look like inside. So this is one of the VIP gondolas. So it shows how luxurious your experience could be. But if you have more friends that you wanna bring on board, this is one of the typical gondolas and they're still actually pretty nice. You can fit eight people inside one of these. I got to test ride it on Friday night. I actually kind of put my feet up like this and enjoyed the view of the city and it is a good one. You can see for up to 20 miles on a good clear day. And yes, I know we're the city that already has the arch, but this is a totally, totally different view of the Lou. And we're gonna continue showing off what the St. Louis wheel has to offer, including what it has on the ground level coming up throughout Tissel. But for now, I'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, that seems very safe, Abby. Like, I think, yeah. I, think I would feel okay because it's not wide open. Yeah, you know? it's also air conditioned and heated. Well, so. and then Ali, look, you can, the ground, is not oh. you don't see the ground underneath you oh, so that see? is yeah. very oh uh oh okay making it move a little bit <laughs> that's a little nerve-wracking but that's not cool i think i don't like i've got say. some folks in the control room who'll keep an eye on it for all me right. all right thanks Abby. settle down there abby <laughs> well, this morning we want to take you out live to the new observation wheel isn't that beautiful it's awesome the wheel at union station opens today but that's not all that's opening the soda fountains opening the carousel and a mini golf course to top it off. There are so many things that, of course, we had to send our Abby Larico to check it all out for us this morning. Good morning, Abby. Hey, Allie, good morning. So I am uh, properly caffeinated here this Monday morning, so I am not getting enough of a thrill from the wheel, which is opening in a little bit. So I decided I wanted to kind of take a look inside and see something a little more high octane, something a little more high pressure, maybe something a little more important. And that's why I'm going to visit my friend Michael here. Hey, Michael. Hey, how are you? I am fabulous. We are in the control center, essentially, of the observation wheel. And I've learned a little bit about it in just the past few minutes. Um, first off, yes, they do have the big red button. That's the big emergency stop button. Absolutely. It's funny because that's almost like a caricature of itself. But you know, this is also where they can control everything from the motor speed. Um, they can test the brakes. They can make sure that everything is running smoothly. And they also keep an eye on the weather. So you kind of have to watch that for severe weather situations. Yes, want to watch for severe weather, thunderstorms, you know, tornado things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And anything that would then um, right at a 15 mile radius, that's when we will um, stop the uh, stop the wheel and we'll just start um, escorting folks off yeah. the gondola. You want to avoid having to press the big red button if, right. if at all possible. Absolutely. And the other super cool thing about this place is that you are getting a look inside and this might be the only look inside that you ever get because it is very secure in here. I mean, everything from timed secure doors to the fact that you need a ID card and a fingerprint to be able to get in here and control any of this stuff. Um, I'm told that the fastest speed that it can go is not something that people can actually be on board for. That's like for testing things. Just, and testing, all the, just testing things. Are you sure we can't even like do it a little bit this morning? No. All right, well, we'll work on that. I'll get you some caffeine, Michael, and see if I can convince you, and we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. This is where you can get one of those freak shakes that if you haven't seen it on Instagram by now, you probably haven't been scrolling fast enough. And so I'm headed behind the counter with Amber here to try to make one of my own. Yeah. Hello. Hello. So which one are we making right now? So this is the cotton candy. Cool. Uh, so it's a vanilla ice cream base from Clementine's Creamery. We yes, love them. So cool. So we're just going to pour that in here. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's really pink. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's got a little cherry ting to yeah. it. That's good. That's enough. Perfect. Okay. Then we're going to add some straws because okay. the straws kind of hold everything up, right? Oh, and there's two because you need to share something. You do. Day. Absolutely. Awesome. Then we go with whipped cream. 
heavy amount here. Excellent. Right? Because it's very photogenic. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we do a whole bunch of cotton candy. Okay, so just kind of like... Sure. Get in there, throw it on top. Oh, I should have like sculpted something. <laughs> I'm just going to go with this. It's going to be a nice yeah. natural cotton candy look. Perfect. There you go. Then we do a whirly pop here for a nice pop of color. Then some rock candy. Rock candy in the front. A shark because the aquarium's opening Absolutely. in December. We're super excited. Maybe put that guy right here. And then top it with a cherry. The cherry on top. Amber, thank you so you much. You did so I, good. I love it. Thank you. I'm working on figuring out what my specific signature freak shake would be. I'll think about the, though and send it back to you guys in the meantime. Yavi, you know, you could actually work there. That shake yes. looks pretty darn good. Cheers. I don't know. Do you think I could work here? Allie says that she thinks I did a good job. You're hired. <laughs> I got hired. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks, Abby. <laughs>